Starting a new job is exciting. It can be stressful. It can be fun. It can also be a little nerve-wracking, especially if it's your first job ever. Okay, so we're talking about your daughters. Yeah, Isabel and Sophia, they have babysat their entire life. They've done... Uh, they've gotten an allowance before they've t- uh, helped teach at their Irish dance school for, you know, uh, payment and stuff like that. But this is their first venture into, you know, filling out a W2, working for a boss, punching in, punching out, that sort of thing. Right. Yeah. So yesterday was my daughter Isabella's first day on the job. And, you know, I sent her a text in the morning because, you know, she was supposed to be there at work at nine. I was like, hey, good luck today on your first day of work. I'm proud of you. Give yourself enough time to get there on time. I love you. And, uh, you know, she texted back, you know, I love you. I'm going to leave here at 830. Have plenty of time to get there, et cetera, whatever. So she got there in time. And that was like the first thing that I asked when I got home. I'm like, OK, what time did you get there? <laughs> I'm like, I don't want you to be late on your first day. Um, and so, you know. I was asking her, you know, tell me about your day. She was like, oh, okay. So, you know, I had some, uh, you know, orientation stuff and I went through and I was, you know, uh, uh, I took a tour of like the facility and things like that. And uh, then they just put me out on the floor. I was like, oh, okay. okay what, what kind and, of work and, are we talking? Is this like so factory work or is no, this retail work? It's it's like customer service. Um, yeah, I mean, I guess part of this business, there is a retail uh, sort of uh, uh, aspect to it. All right. OK, but there are um, the, the, it, it's like a uh, place where you would go and you would book tours and things like that. OK, gotcha. so so y- she is like and I it's my first day. And so they're just like, OK, so here you go. This is what you can do. See ya. <laughs> so, oh, wow. And so nothing like, nothing like, you know, just getting kind of thrown into it. And I guess yesterday was a pretty busy day for them. And so there were a lot of people, you know, milling around. And, and uh, so she was, you know, working the cash register and she was, you know, taking uh, money and she was, you know, checking people out and everything. And then, and then she got her first complaint. Uh oh. Oh no. Someone, I guess, a customer comes up and is like, excuse me. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. You already know from the tone. I know. not a happy customer. I know. And so she's like, is this all there is? And kind of points behind Isabella to one of the more, like, attraction sort of, uh, of aspects of this job. Okay. And Isabella's like, because she had literally just took a tour of it. Was like, yeah, uh, yeah, right here. She goes, okay. That is not what your brochure says. Oh no! And now she has to defend the brochure. <laughs> that she's she is minutes old into this new job. Oh gosh! New like work. Brand new industry, brand new everything, and she's having to defend a company that she literally just got hired uh, that day. And oh, ma'am, I was trained five minutes ago. I know. I'm I know. Not sure, if and, I'm qualified to handle your complaint. And and I was like, I and you know, Isabella is telling me about this, and I'm like, oh my gosh, what did you say? And she goes, uh, uh, and and she had already said that if. Uh, someone complains to come get the manager, and I'm like, yes, that's right, because you're not paid yes. enough for that. That's their job Ma'am, to deal with that. Let me get you the manager. <laughs> right, right. And so she said, I'm sorry to hear that. And so at that time, I guess her manager comes over and kind of saves her in the moment. And so maybe had been watching off to the side and was like, oh, I'll take care of this. this is above my pay grade. Above my pay grade. <laughs> I know, I know. But how stressful! First day of the job, oh and you. Gotta deal with complaints, and it's just like, man, I am not ready for this. Like, well, I'm glad she didn't spout off saying, "Well, I didn't make the brochure." I know, <laughs> I, know. I know, right? <laughs> this, well, you know, quite honestly, they're stock photos, so you know, it's who knows. You and know? quite honestly, your expectations are way too high. <laughs> yeah, for sure, <laughs> for sure. So, anyway, I was just like, "Hey, welcome to the next 50 years of your life." Oh, 
gosh. Um, but yeah, so yeah, Sophia gets her first crack at it today. As uh, oh, let's hope. I let's know. hope <laughs> I know. that people are happy with the brochure uh, and the experience I they love get. It. I mean, you know, we get our first day on the air, and we get complaints. You know, people, listeners will call in and be like, "You're nothing like so and so." You know, or like, "I'm never listening to this show again." So, I mean, listen, you know, listen, every industry we've been blessed with not getting too many of that. No, 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 no. I'm just saying, but every every industry gets it. Every industry gets those complaints. Calls, sure. But on the first day, it's you, always a little bit rough. You can't please so. everyone. That's right. So welcome, Isabella, to the working class. Sophia, your day is today. Uh, just telling a story about how it was my daughter's first day on the job ever uh, yesterday. It's my other daughter, Sophia's first day today. Uh, we got a message from Steph said, uh, you were talking about your daughter having to deal with an unhappy customer on her first day of work. It reminded me of my first day delivering packages, dropping the box off at the first house, left the van in drive accident. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, my God. <laughs> left the van in drive, oh, wow. jumped out to deliver the package, oh. and boom. Oh, my God. Uh, could you imagine that call that you have to make I, on the very first day? Oh my gosh! Yeah, you know what? I, I didn't even think about that, but that might be a fun, like, uh, little sharing corner. If you've got a great story about the first day on the job, like, what's the worst thing that happened to you on the first day of your new job? Uh, we'd love. That's a big one. I know. We'd love to hear it. Uh, at Ben and Kelly show or 502-571-9970. Steph, that's pretty good. <laughs> that lit- that's literally like something that happened to my manager when I delivered papers back in the day. Uh, I had broken the window of a customer by throwing it through his window. Oh, and, my gosh. And so my manager got called out to deal with that. And so <laughs> as he it, as he jumps out of his car to deal with the customer that I had broken his window, he left his car in drive and it went no. through his garage. <gasps> so not the only the same customer yes. that you broke his window and then broke his garage. Yes. Oh so God. not only did, did he I immediately unsubscribe from the newspaper because I think I would. No, he didn't. <laughs> he didn't. He didn't know where they. No, got. he needed his daily news. I guess. <laughs> oh, but, that's great. Yeah. So oh, wow. So yeah, we'd love to hear those if you got those stories. Worst thing that happened to you on the first day of your new job. Uh, Mike texts in, worked at a car wash. First day, got hit by a car pulling in. <gasps> oh, my, oh gosh. my gosh. Oh, my gosh. Ouch. I laugh because I'm assuming you're okay. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> and then we get another text that says, I work primarily with elderly people. My first day, I see a gray-haired gentleman roaming the halls, looking a little lost. Uh-oh. So I ask if I can help him find anything. He was the owner of the company. Oh. <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> Almost like an undercover boss situation. Uh, and then this, we got a message from a listener. Yeah, I cussed out a customer and got fired at my first day. <laughs> oh, my Ooh. gosh. Listen, let's not cuss out customers ever, okay? Oh, wow. But on I the first day? I know the story like did the customer. Wow. <laughs> wow. Yeah, I was going to say, but did the customer deserve it? I mean, let's 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 hear the story. Right. What they say. Right for sure. <laughs>